Hello everyone! In this video, you will learn continuity at a point. A function is said to be continuous at x equal to a provided that the following conditions are satisfied. a. f a is defined. b. Limit of f as x approaches a exists. In other words, the limit of f as x approaches a from right is equal to the limit of f as x approaches a from left. And c. Limit of f as x approaches a is equal to f a. Please note that polynomials are continuous everywhere. And a rational function is discontinuous at every number where the denominator is 0. Example 1. Determine whether the function f equal to 4x plus 12 over x squared minus 9 is continuous at x equal to 0. Remember, a function is said to be continuous at x equal to 0 if f0 is defined, the limit of f as x approaches 0 exists, and the limit of f as x approaches 0 is equal to f0. A. f0 is equal to 4 times 0 plus 12, which is equal to 12, over 0 square minus 9, equal to minus 9. So, f0 is equal to 12 over minus 9. Therefore, f0 is defined. Condition B. We need to find the limit of f as x approaches 0. Substitute x with 0. We also get 12 over minus 9. Therefore, the limit of f as x approaches 0 exists. Condition 3. Limit of f as x approaches 0 is equal to 12 over minus 9. F0 is also equal to 12 over minus 9. Hence, f is continuous at x equal to 0. Example 2. Determine whether the function f equal to 4x plus 1 over x square minus 9 is continuous at x equal to minus 3. Remember, a function is said to be continuous at x equal to minus 3 if f minus 3 is defined. The limit of f as x approaches minus 3 exists and the limit of f as x approaches minus 3 is equal to f minus 3. Condition A. f minus 3 is equal to 4 times minus 3 plus 1 equal to minus 11 over minus 3 square minus 9 equal to 9 minus 9 equal to 0. So, f minus 3 is equal to minus 11 over 0. Therefore, f minus 3 is undefined. Since f minus 3 is undefined, we don't have to check for condition B and C. And we can say that f is discontinuous at x equal to 
minus 3. Example 3. Determine whether the following function is continuous at x equal to 3. Remember, a function is said to be continuous at x equal to 3 if f3 is defined, the limit of f as x approaches 3 exists, and the limit of f as x approaches 3 is equal to f3. In this problem, we have a piecewise function. To find f3, we need to determine which function to use. If you examine this function, when x equal to 3, f is equal to 4x plus 1. You need to look for the equal sign. Hence, f3 is equal to 4 times 3 plus 1, which is equal to 13. Therefore, f3 is defined. Condition B. We need to find the limit of f as x approaches 3. But now, we have different function for x less than 3 and x greater than 3. If x less than 3, we need to use 2x square minus 5. But when x is greater than 3, we need to use function 4x plus 1. Therefore, for condition B, we need to check whether the limit of f as x approaches 3 from left is equal to the limit of f as x approaches 3 from right. In order to know whether the limit of f as x approaches 3 is at this. So, the limit of f as x approaches 3 from left is equal to 2 times 3 square minus 5 equal to 13. The limit of f as x approaches 3 from right, we look for the function when x is greater than 3 and it is equal to 4x plus 1. So, the limit of f as x approaches 3 from right is equal to 4 times 3 plus 1 equal to 13. Since the limit from left of 3 is equal to the limit from right of 3 equal to 13, the limit of f as x approaches 3 is equal to 13. Condition C, we check whether the limit of f as x approaches 3 is equal to f3 and it is equal. Hence, f is continuous at x equal to 3. Example number 4. Find the value or values of k if f is continuous at x equal to 1. You are given a piecewise function fx equal to x square minus 2 if x less than 1 and fx equal to kx minus 4 if x is greater than or equal to 1. Remember, f is continuous at x equal to 1 if f1 is defined. The limit of f as x approaches 1 exists and the limit of f as x approaches 1 is equal to f1. Condition A. F1 is defined 
So, it means that we can find F1. If x is equal to 1, the function that we should use is kx minus 4. So, F1 is equal to k times 1 minus 4 equal to k minus 4. Condition B. The limit of f as x approaches 1 exists. Since we have used kx minus 4 in condition A, now we should use the first function when x is less than 1. So, we use x square minus 2. So, the limit of f as x approaches 1 from left is equal to 1 square minus 2 equal to minus 1. Condition C. The limit of f as x approaches 1 is equal to f1. This means that k minus 4 should be equal to minus 1. Therefore, k is equal to 4 minus 1 equal to 3. Thank you.